Okay, right here you see two Komatsu HD605s. Both of these are 60 ton haul trucks. I'm basically going to take you and show you around a little bit. Now as you can see, both of these trucks are set up with rear tailgates installed on the dump bodies. The tailgate is a really nice feature to have installed on any haul truck because it reduces the amount of rear spillage out the back of the dump body when the truck is driving up an incline. Anytime you see a tailgate installed on a truck, or it doesn't necessarily have to be a tailgate, it could be even a water body, it's usually not a product that is manufactured by the manufacturer of the truck itself. There are many companies out there who specialize in just building things like tailgates and other type of bodies for haul trucks. This manufacturer happens to be Phil, which is a name brand supplier and manufacturer of tailgates, water bodies, and high volume bodies for haul trucks and articulated trucks. Now how one of these tailgates works is very simple. Basically, as you can see, it's pinned right on the corner right there to hold that edge of the tailgate to the truck. The chain that you see running down the side right here runs through these two rollers. And these are to keep the chain from hitting up against the side of the dump body when the tailgate goes to raise it. Also, they keep the chain from hitting the rear tires. The chain then runs down and connects right to the stabilizer bar. And the opposite chain is connected right to the bar too. This bar is mounted right to the superstructure. And the chain on the opposite side runs up just like this one, right to the edge of the tailgate. This whole thing, the tailgate, the chain, the rollers, and the bar, which is connected to the superstructure, is all one big package that comes when you order one of these tailgates through the supplier. What happens is, is when the dump body goes to raise, this chain will raise up a little bit and then hold the tailgate in position so that the body will tip downward and drop the load on the ground. Then the body will come down and the tailgate will be, just as you see it right here, slapped down on the rear of the body. This is your fuel tank for the HD605. Right here you can see your gauge to tell the driver how much fuel is in the truck. And right here is your cap to fuel the body with diesel fuel. Now it's a Komatsu haul truck, so naturally it's a Komatsu engine. It's an SA60170E, produces 533 horsepower. And you can see your radiator fan right up in there. This is your frame, your superstructure of the truck. This is what the whole truck rests on, the engine is sitting on, and the body and the house is all resting on this. This is your shock absorber right here, which absorbs the shock of the truck. When it goes over a bounce or something, it makes the truck ride easier. Now your steering linkage on one of these Komatsu haulers is pretty unique. This is part of your axle right here, which is what your tire and your, your shock absorber are connected to. This cylinder right here is what turns your tires left or right. There's one on the opposite side. This bar, which connects to the edge of your axle, is called your stabilizer bar. It connects to this central piece of linkage here, which is mounted in the center of the superstructure, and connects to that other bar over there. These two bars, one on each side, are for your stabilization, so that when you are steering this truck, both tires are turning together. They basically work both pieces of linkage together so both of the tires turn together. There's another view of your engine right there. Now I'll take you up on the truck. Fire extinguisher right here just for safety. Your two air cleaners right here and your air intakes are mounted right on top. The ex air is then taken flown right through this pipe here once it is cleaned right down into the engine. These four tanks you see right here are for your air pressure. They hold your PSI for your air brakes. The pipe that you see connecting right down there to the dump body takes all your exhaust from the engine and runs it through the body. The purpose of that is to keep the body heated. When one of these trucks is working in the winter, the cold temperatures make the body get really frozen sticky and it will have a tendency to want to collect material because being that the ground is warm and the dirt hits a cold steel body like this, it will stick. When the exhaust is blown through the body inside, it heats the body and thus you won't have material stick into the body when the truck is working in the winter. Right there you can see your ropes going over your cab and that's so when the body raises it will protect the cab from any falling debris. Here's your lubrication chart. 
This shows where all the points are for lubrication on this entire truck that needs to be greased. And right here is the cab on an HD605. It's your standard setup that you'd find on any Komatsu hauler. Your reverse neutral drive, fifth, fourth, and third gear, and a low range. And also right here you can see your serial for the truck. Here's another view of your Komatsu engine right in there. And on this side, this is your hydraulic fluid tank. These are the two points to fuel it. But there they are, two Komatsu HD 605s.